I grew up in a town outside of Tampa, Florida. Tampa is the lightning capital of the world. I remember watching the storms roll in, and I thought lightning was so beautiful. One of my high school teachers encouraged me to do some research on lightning. And what I learned was that scientists were still learning about it themselves. I remember thinking how cool it would be to have a job where you were learning and discovering something about our planet. And that's how I chose to go into meteorology. My name is Jessica Taylor, and I'm a physical scientist at NASA Langley Research Center. When I was in college, I got involved in a program called GLOBE. GLOBE encourages the community, students, teachers, and scientists to investigate the environment and the environmental world around them. All these people around the world that do GLOBE are taking measurements following the same scientific protocols and procedures. They share that data back to GLOBE and this data set is publicly available for everyone, including scientists. When people contribute scientific information like this, it's called citizen science. The public is basically volunteering to help with some component of the science process and help answer real world problems. This helps professional scientists by getting different perspectives and in many instances, help them with data analysis and data collection. It's a similar idea to crowdsourcing. For the GLOBE Clouds program, the more observations and images of clouds that volunteers submit, the more analysis scientists can do. In order for scientists to understand clouds and how they impact weather and climate, we need data from lots of different locations. While data collected by satellites in space provide a global picture, they sometimes have some trouble with the details. NASA uses observations and measurements from many platforms, including satellites. We also collect data with instruments that fly on planes and balloons. We have instruments at ground stations, and we can use the data collected by volunteer scientists. For volunteers that do citizen science, you learn about what you're helping to investigate. By participating in GLOBE Clouds, you'll learn about the different types of clouds, and you'll probably start to notice connections between clouds and weather. As a volunteer scientist, you practice your own science skills like observation, measurement, analysis, and even asking questions. Plus, citizen scientists become part of a community, all working together, and in this case, to learn about our Earth. Science is all about discovery and learning. That's what first excited me about becoming a scientist. But even after I chose to go to college and study meteorology, there were still times where I doubted myself. My experience with GLOBE when I was a student in college helped me build my confidence. I got to regularly practice my science skills. And those experiences collecting and analyzing data helped me see myself as a scientist. I am grateful for the GLOBE program because it helped lead me to become a scientist with NASA. I hope you all consider joining this GLOBE community as we learn and do cloud science together.